guys, we're back today. We're starting with some MLB content. Check out our other videos if you haven't. We're starting with the MLB today because we came on here. We wanted to talk about some basketball stuff and then pulling up the sporting news. It just seemed like Trevor Bauer was everywhere. I mean, our videos in the past are pretty good on Bauer, but this way it's just a completely different video. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. The more you read about it, the weirder the situation is. I mean, without even going in depth into it, like we're not going to pick sides on here. We're not here to speak on if we think it happened, who's guilty, et cetera. That's like, everyone has their own opinion on that. That's just way too touchy. But just like the fact it happened, like I said, just shows how fucking weird this guy is. Um, and B, like he's got put on administrative leave. He definitely won't be playing in the All-Star game if he's voted in. Um, and I would assume he's probably going to miss more time after this too. And that's what, it, that's what it comes down to. He's put on a seven-day administrative leave. Um, that's just because not, not a lot of facts have come out so far. According to the Dodgers, they've been watching this since mid-May. So it's, it's, been, it's had some time to, to brew up a little bit, but it hasn't hit the media until today. So now that it hits the media, Bauer is one of the guys in the league that attracts the most attention uh, league-wide. We, we've seen it when he's a free agent. He was putting up videos. He's a, he's a weird fella. He's odd. But with that being said, I he's on a seven-day administrative leave right now. I don't see him come back this year. I think his year is over. Um, I don't think we're going to see Trevor Bauer. I think he's going to have to play this out in the long game uh, until there, or there is some kind of court decision on the case. And whatever way it goes, I don't see him going to jail or anything like that. But whatever way it goes, if there is punishment on his end, I see him coming back to the MLB eventually. But this year is not his year. I mean, I would definitely assume he's never going to get a contract like he did as well, just because teams aren't going to trust him. Especially if the Dodgers ultimately paid, what was it, like 40-something billion this year based off the way his contract went for him to essentially miss half the year. Like, they might try to get some cutbacks here. I don't yeah. know what the stipulations is in terms of him being suspended and them getting some money back, but they're definitely going to be doing something, I would assume, to kind of retract and get some money back here. I, I would assume as well. I know he got, uh, I'm looking at his contract right now with a th three-year, $102 million with $10 million signing bonus. He got $38 million in his first year without, that's without factoring in the signing bonus. Um, so with that being said, there is less money coming up on his contract than what he's been paid this year. Like, as in there's two more years uh, on less per year than what he's been making this year. But if I'm the Dodgers, especially if he's out for the rest of the year, they're going to try to find a way to make some of this money back. I, I think back of, I know, a completely, completely different situation. But I think back of A-Rod with the Yankees. Uh, he still had many years left, and they found a way to get out of that contract. I think the Dodgers are going to do the same, which is just a shame. Because before this all came to light, so Bauer is dealing with this. We know he's deal been dealing with this for at least a month and a half uh, without, without it coming to the, the world news. But he's still been playing like a borderline Cy Young pitcher. So he, wa he wasn't letting the distractions impact his pitching. But with that being said, he's not going to be a Cy Young pitcher if he doesn't finish the year in the league. Yeah, there's like a couple of different weird things about this. Like, A, to anyone who like hasn't actually looked at the story, and if you've listened this far, like go to The Athletic, read the article, because just the stuff, again, that's said and that has come out about the situation, um, like, <laughs> like apparently the girl was with the Pasadena police. She had, the police actually had her call Trevor Bauer and recorded the phone call with him there. And apparently, word for word, he admitted to punching her in the butt while she was unconscious. Like, I don't know what drives mm -hmm. anyone just to punch someone in the butt out of all things that you do or admit. But according to Trevor Bauer, that's a normal thing that he's willing to admit. And that's a normal thing that he does when reaching out to girls. So... Um, opinion on him, like, in that regard, completely just obliterated. That man is just completely uncanny in whatever he does. I'll never, ever buy, like, any sort of jersey. I'll never trade for him on ML any MLB games. This dude is just disgustingly weird. Um, but, yeah, in terms of his future, like, nowadays in sports, we see a lot of these, uh, like, a lot of teams in every single league, they just get rid of players whenever stuff like this happens. So it really makes you wonder if the Dodgers, are, they're just going to cut Trevor Bauer and who's actually going to take the next chance on him. 
Is it going to be a minimum contract? Or is he going to have to take it, like take a huge hit and try to come back and work his way back? And is he going to be suspended for a year? Like that's what it comes down to. I agree with you. He'll probably play again, but I am curious to see if the Dodgers actually keep him on the roster moving forward. I, I don't know how that works as well, contract-wise. I don't know if there's a stipulation in there. Um, there might be something in there that is the player has to hold good a good track record in public uh, where you can't make any, do any crazy embarrassing moments. You can't have a thing where you might be facing uh, jail time. Um, you look at different play. I know NBA is a little bit different than the MLB, but there was um, th- this year alone, there was a Raptors player who was going through a court case. He ended up being he ended up being tried as not guilty, drop all charges dropped, but the Raptors still got rid of him. It still hurt his image. It still hurt. It still hurt them as a team. It hurt him as a player. Um, and as much as he went on to play somewhere else, he didn't really play that much once once he left. So it, I know Bowers to another level. Um, I'm just talking about there about a eighth or nine man off the bench for an NBA team. Bauer is a Cy Young pitcher. He is a leader. He is a star of a team. But how are players going to look up to him after this? I don't know. I just think too, like, like think of the Mets situation with the, uh, with the GM earlier in the year when I think I even did a video after Bauer signed with the Dodgers and said, like, was the original hit that the Mets GM took an impacting factor of that? And then you think of a guy like Bauer, who's probably done stuff like this before, and he probably doesn't want to be associated with someone who is in the spotlight for separate sexual allegations. He's like, damn, this is just going to come out right away. Either way, it comes out for him. But I even think, too, like, this is the trouble with guys getting too involved with the media too frequently. Where Bauer's been in the media through the MLB for, what, last three years? A, for being so outspoken with the Astros. B, just dragging on his contract throughout the offseason, and then see with the spin rate issue, he was one of the main guys who've been accused of using substances for their spin rate. And now he has this. It's like this guy at this point is just like a walking public image who, again, like you said, like who's going to look up to him? Who even wants him on this team at that point? Other than his skill level, I'm sure people are going to comment and say, oh, Trevor Bauer's great. Who cares? But at the end of the day, that's what we see. So. And we see it. We see it a lot nowadays. Everything you do is for the public image, and everything you do is going to be uh, people are going to have opinions about it. And whenever you're putting out putting out a negative image for yourself, it's not going to look good in the long term. Either anyway, wh- whatever way this ends up being, even if it's going to end up being that after seven games they find that he's not actually going to court, everything was fine, whatever, his image is hurt. I would, I would agree. Everyone's going to laugh and crack jokes. And on Reddit, there's always going to be threads about this forever. Yeah. So, yeah, his, his legacy, at least socially, is definitely tainted. But it's, it's going to be tough to see. It's going to be something that uh, is going to make or break the Dodgers this year. And if they have to hang on to this, con- this contract without him playing, then it could make or break them for the next couple of years as well. But I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going to end up happening with Bauer. And that's going to be a very good touching point in a few weeks, in a few months, in a year or two, what ended up happening off this situation. Definitely. But let us know what you guys think in the comments. Do subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with some other content. Check it out. And we'll see you guys soon.